It's happened, friends. Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Hope you're all doing great as always. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. So yesterday, we are a little bit late with this news. Uh, working a regular nine to five does put me out of pace with most other content creators, but we're here, we're doing it better late than never. And because we have covered some things to do with this update, it's I feel responsible that we need to cover the update and future updates as well in regards to the new games. So yesterday, like I say, we got version 1.1.2 as an update for Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl and what does that entail? So if we hop over to the Nintendo of America website, we can have a look at all of the update details that they've listed here with this patch. So version 1.1.2 currently available as an update in Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. The notes are uh, this update must be applied in order to use the game's internet features. So if you're going online to battle, if you're trading, anything to do with the union room or the underground if you're going online with that you're going to need this update to do it otherwise it will refuse you access and it'll just prompt you to update uh, so you won't have those facilities available if you stay on version 1.1.1 version 1.1.2 release uh december the first so yesterday uh, evening um fixed some issues that would prevent the game from progressing under certain circumstances and that is to do with the soft locks so the soft lock in the ice gym is one of them you can get yourself stuck in a position what you kind of get out of and that is a soft lock so you're essentially locking yourself in the game that's been resolved now which is really great news especially for younger players that are playing this game which it might happen to and i'm not just including young players in this but it could happen to anyone so it is a really good fix good patch to have up uh, the other issue was some issues have been fixed for more pleasant gameplay. Now, what does that refer to? Let's come back into game or not into game, but let's just get our switch up. So one of the things that the glitch will allow you to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to come into game. We're on version we're on version 1.1.1. If you want to know what version of the game you're currently on, when you're on this home screen, you just hover over or have your game selected that you want to look at the details for and click the plus button on your controller. It will show you the, um, the, the all the data about the games. So you can see in the top left hand corner, it's got version 1.1.1. So what are we referring to about more pleasant gameplay? Well, this is one of the things we're currently doing a Nuzlocke. I haven't done this glitch on this before, but there is a cloning glitch that you can do when you come to a Pokemon summary screen pressing Zenar simultaneously it will do an overlap of a menu glitch like this um, and then you'll be able to do all sorts of shenanigans like run around and do and do all sorts of things but pressing B gets rid of it now the update what it will do is make it no longer possible for you to do any cloning uh, no cloning boxes, no cloning Pokemon, no cloning items, nothing like that. You're going to have access to none of that. It will fix the shaman glitch as well. So you're not going to have access to the shaman glitch before getting the actual Ox letter as an event in the game. That will be gone through using these means. If you want to take advantage of the cloning, if you want to do it offline, obviously, because you're not going to have access to online with 1.1.1, just don't update your version. Just keep it 1.1.1 and you can have as much fun as you want cloning uh, items, cloning Pokemon, doing the glitches and all those fun things. But if you want to access the internet and take part in the game, uh, that side of it, you're going to have to update. And to update, what you want to do is you want to just go back to your home menu. Obviously, make sure you save your game before you do this. But click on the game. It'll ask you, it'll prompt you if you want to install the update. And uh, you just click install and uh, it will close your game. So that's why I'm saying make sure you save and the update will take a few seconds to do and then you'll be able to go back into it now some things haven't been patched um i don't think this, the the shiny charms being patched to affect uh wild pokemon which we're kind of hoping that will get patched this this start screen has not been patched it's still a good hour to load up so that hasn't been patched um the radar the um Poga radar has not been patched so it's still that my, and then one, two, one IV on 20 chain, 30 frame, you get two and 40 and anything in between, you're not guaranteed. So that hasn't been patched either. Whether that will be or not, I don't know. Maybe in a future update, but for this update, it hasn't been. The only thing that has been patched is this glitch and you're not going to be able to do the menu glitch anymore. So if you, like I say, if you want to do it, then don't 
update your game, but you're not going to be able to trade Pokemon or anything like that if you um if you if you if you if you, if you do update. If you don't update, I should say. So as we can see, we'll try and try and do it here, and be hilarious if it worked. You see, no, no, it doesn't work. It, it won't work. We got that pretty much down as well. We, you know, we got that method down, and I think, yeah, at least at least two times. And you see, it doesn't work. And then you can check your version by just clicking on it, and it will say version 1.1.2, and that will fix all these issues. There was also um, a glitch which we didn't cover here on the channel, um, which was about creating shiny Pokemon. And don't get me wrong, whatever anyone wants to do. On their own game they're entitled to do it it is their copy of the game but i can see the point where nintendo and game freak may want to patch that because um there are the the chances of impacting other players games and when it does do that there's um some people that have covered this glitch already uh and the update already and, and mentioned about the ban system um and how that works and if you are interrupting other players games uh, then that will be a reason for handing out a ban and i could see that with the, the the illegal shinies that have been created out of pretty much nothing or another shiny so um yeah that's all gone that's all gone so everyone that likes to play the game just in a, a steady standard way be happy they're gone but don't be surprised if we see more glitches along the way so yeah friends if you want to play around with the glitches still and you want to do all those fun things like get shaman before the end game and do those other surfing in the air glitches and cloning items and getting multiples of things then don't update your game but just be aware that you won't be able to access any online content or do any online trading or battling and things like that on that copy of the game that you've got so you'll still be able to do the glitches you're just going to have to stay on 1.1.1 but if you want to uh, access all the online stuff which is kind of forcing your hand a little bit if you do want to battle or trade or get involved in online things then you're going to have to update your game so hopefully you found this useful friends thank you so much for tuning in hope you have a great rest of your day hope this video was useful for some of you and um, we'll be back very soon with more content on the channel so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye